Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we got some Korean fried cheese. I am so excited. Korean fried cheese is my absolute favorite. And I saw someone post it on their story last night. And then that's all I've, I've thought about. So, we took the trip up to Mochi Nut. I'm about an hour away from Mochi Nut. And we ordered a bunch of stuff. So, let's see here. It smells super good. So, I got... An original mozzarella, a blue taki mozzarella, a hot Cheetos mozzarella, coffee, and three mochi nuts, donuts. I got the white chocolate peppermint, Nutella, and apple pie. So yeah, they have a Takis one. It's blue. And I plan to stop at the mall after. Watch me have like a blue mouth. Okay, what's in here? These must, ugh. These must be the hot dogs. Yes, they are. And then they threw in some sauces for me. And then here is the coffee. It's so cute. Mmm. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And then look how cute the, the donut box is. I love it so much. The peppermint donuts are here for a limited time and they were in there and are so pretty. So I did just a like a DoorDash pickup order and that was super easy to do. Oh my gosh, how pretty. The Nutella one, you get a chocolate on the inside. Now those are some gorgeous donuts. And for the moment, we're waiting for. Mmm. Flamin' Hot Cheetos and Takis. I love how it's blue. Cause it's not like a blue raspberry flavor or anything, it's just blue. And then the original, which I love the original one. They also have a potato one, one with ramen on it. I believe one with squid ink. Ho ho ho. Okay, and then this is a honey garlic sauce, uh, sweet chili and habanero, mango habanero, I believe. So let's try the honey garlic. I've never had this one. They were sold out of this one the last time I came here. This is my second time here. Ooh. It's very garlicky smelling. All right, let's get a cheese pull. I'm also gonna take a thumbnail. Delicious. So good. Mmm. Wow, that's too sweet chili. So I just got home from Florida. We, me and a group of friends decided to just book a weekend trip two days before. And I think in my last video I was talking about wanting to go to the beach, but then it happened. Everyone was down to go and we booked it super last minute, which honestly last minute trips are my favorite. Mmm. That's really good. Because then, if it's last minute, you don't have to wait super long and be super excited for so long. But we had a lot of fun. We had like three full days, and it was around like 77. So it was warm, but it wasn't super hot. The wind was chilly, but still we went to the beach in our bathing suits. There was a tiki bar. We went to rooftop places, and it was a lot of fun. So I just got back yesterday. Now mango habanero. Ooh, that one's kind of spicy. Mmm. Those are all really good. I like how they're homemade. But when I was in Florida, 
I tried shrimp and uh, I ordered lobster mac and cheese. I tried a crab and artichoke dip and guys, I liked all of it. I really liked all of it, it was so good. So maybe, just maybe, I really do like seafood after all. So, should we do like a seafood boil mukbang? Let me know what you guys would want to see. See, I, I wish I liked sushi, but I just don't. I think it's just the texture, it's super like chewy, and like it being raw. And I know there's some that aren't raw, but... And then I tried imitation crab. That was in something I tried. Mm, the cream cheese rangoons. I tried those on my channel. Loved those. So... I've been trying a lot of new stuff lately. Takis. This is fun. Mmm. <laughs> that was spicy. <laughs> the ones with the coating on it, I remember the Flaming Hot Cheeto one. It's not, a, it's not crispy really. It's more soggy. So pretty good. Mm. Takis are spicy. But I would love to do a seafood boil. Do you guys know uh, B Loves on YouTube? She has like her own seafood boil sauce. I think she still makes YouTube videos. Honestly, I'm not sure. But I know she lives or lived in Ohio somewhere a few hours away from me but I know she has some like really good seafood boil sauce but I don't know maybe making it at home wouldn't be the best option for someone's like first time mm. I always switch back and forth between being a Flaming Hot Cheeto lover and then a Takis lover. But I like the orange bag of Takis. They're super hard to find. I don't know if they're discontinued, but you only see them some places. And usually they're at like small little markets. Like you're never going to find it at like Target or anything. It's the orange bag. And there's like cheese on it. They're just like, I think it's called Cheese Explosion. That one definitely has a kick. <laughs> My mouth's a little blue. That's okay. Yeah, I'm glad I got to try some seafood. It, they had really good food in Florida. I was in Tampa, and we were going to St. Pete's Beach. PCI, PCI, I think everyone was calling it. But it was a nice area. They had volleyball courts. Ping pong tables, cornhole, pretty much everything. And uh, we bought a little, what's it called? A, sh a shifter, swifter? I forget. We were sifting. And we brought a sifter. And we were sifting for shark teeth. Oops, wrong way. Oop. That's good. I think the last time I came here, I got the brown sugar one. That one just was coffee. So it's more like strong, which I like it like that. This one, I feel like would be good dipped in ranch. Let's see, what could we dip it in? We'll just dip it in the garlic honey, I guess. No sauce didn't go too good with this. Ooh, spicy. 
but I overpacked my suitcase was overweight and our flight home the Frontiers like computer system was down and they wouldn't let us we got there an hour early an hour early and they were like you can't check out your bag in it's you're too late we're like how are we late we're not late and we walked away to like talk it out and then when we went back up there there was another group of older ladies and they were like why are you not letting us like get our boarding passes and she's like you guys are too late our system she said our systems are down and they need to reset the computers and they're just taking a break but you can't take a break when people are trying to get on a flight and if so refund you you know so we had to buy new tickets on a different airline so they should refund us because like what but they airlines do make it really hard to get refunds Ooh, these are spicy And I came home and my mom made me vodka pasta. My favorite dinner. So nice of her. Whenever I go on trips or vacation, she'll always like make my favorite dinner when I come home. She's done that ever since I was young. Like when I went on senior trip, I remember I came home and she made one of my favorite chicken dinners with like a creamy Parmesan Alfredo sauce on top. So good. And I think she also did the cheesy broccoli and French onion rice, which are all my favorites. Those recipes are on my Steph's Meals Instagram page. I forgot we have the donuts. Ah, water. Okay, which one should we try first? Well, we have to try the peppermint one because it's December now. Mmm. That's actually really good. I just went to Trader Joe's not too long ago and they had all their peppermint stuff out. But I didn't really buy anything because... Peppermint flavored foods are not my favorite. I do like an Andy's mint, Andy's mint, however you say it, whatever they give you at Olive Garden. But this is actually really good. I like how it's like it's like a hard shell on top. I'm all about the textures. <laughs> mm. This one is apple pie. Pretty good, but definitely more plain tasting. And then this chocolate one, which I guess let's leave the chocolate in the middle. This is Nutella. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. I love chocolate donuts. My go to favorite donut is a glazed donut with the chocolate hard coating on half, like the top half of it and sprinkles. It's my favorite donut. These are all very good. So these are made from like a rice dough, I believe. So that's why they're like more chewy. And I actually think they're not, they're not terrible for you at all. Like they're pretty healthy. What is a mochi nut donut made of? Mochi donuts are a hybrid confection originally popularized in Japan by the chain Mr. Donut before spreading to the United States via Hawaii. This confection is a cross between a traditional cake-like donut and chewy mochi dough similar to what's wrapped around ice cream. Yeah. This so, sorry. Sorry, Siri. Interrupt. So, mochi, my dog's name, those little mochi ice creams, it's the same mochi dough as these donuts. So, you know, if you've had one of those, it's like chewy consistency. That's how these donuts are. But I am full. I have a big wad of cheese <laughs> in my stomach. That was so good, though. I kind of want another bite. 
I'm so full. I'm so full. If I keep eating and get like overly full, I will feel like crap walking around the mall because I'm gonna go stop in the mall because the mall up this way in Cleveland is super nice and I need to do Christmas shopping. I haven't done any Christmas shopping so I, I need to just like look around and get a few things or at least get some ideas. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some good cheese pool satisfaction. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been here. I think last time I came was in the summer, so it's been a while. But thank you all so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next. Bye guys.